you know, right here, could sit somebody that I could have a toast with, some wine. That would be nice. I could cry right now. That's why this thing is called Artist Meltdown. Because it's like a journey that you go on building this thing. And when you're done, it's just, it feels so perfect. But this time, something is just missing. Cacao came to me about two, two years ago. Yeah, 2021. It was about February, March. And that winter there, I felt really, really alone. I mean, I have a family and all, but I felt really, really alone and it was just something missing. Mm. Something was missing. Mm. I went on a stretch again to build an ice igloo that winter. It was really good and cold. It was super cold, like a long stretch of cold. Like they predicted, I don't know how long this is gonna be, how long this arctic blast will last. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, oh my god, it was a deep, deep winter. And so I knew I had time again to build an icy igloo. I do that when it's a good winter, when it's frozen and the lake is frozen. Anyways. Hmm. It's a stretch to build, you go through emotions, it's cold, the elements, the ice, the snow, <laughs> the endurance, the patience, when something falls and it's like, okay, I need to wait more longer for it to set and freeze. And so when it's done, there is this, it's like birth energy. It's like, oh my gosh, I finally, finally it is. Um, complete and I remember that year I was um, sitting when I was when it was complete I was sitting in there in this dome of color and there was nobody next to me and that crushed me when I speak about it when I feel into it again I just feel pain oh i saw myself next to somebody a sister with a glass of wine or something toasting yes we did it you know how awesome and i had the mental emotional spiritual everything meltdown it's like where are my people that can't be it after of course, the pandemic, there was this alone feel. There were these all these restrictions, and that played a role. Um, but what happened after was just magic. Total alignment this year, that year, in 2021 was one of the most magical years. It's not actually you know, as long, long ago and it has stretched to now, but that was an awakening right there. Cacao came into my life just a few weeks after, through a chance. I was looking at some videos online, YouTube, a friend of mine in Switzerland um, shared a tarot reader with me. Um, that lives in uh, England, but is German. And I was 
watching a couple of videos was really interested. It's like, wow, that is so cool. And then she mentioned cacao that she has she's she went to a cacao ceremony and was really beautiful and then my ears perked up cacao ceremony what is that no from switzerland thinking i know everything about chocolate but what is that that is like some kind of a deeper sense to it so my curiosity took me again and i did some research online uh, YouTube is a great source of everything. I listen to a lot of people, um, podcasts too. And that sense of, oh my gosh, cacao is so ancient and I didn't know. I felt so guilty. I always thought it came from Africa, you know, because most of uh, um, the cacao comes from Africa, 70% of the chocolate industry comes from Africa but the initial start of it was Mesoamerica, Guatemala, Ecuador this kind of regions there and I was like wow what is that why do I not know that <laughs> and so I had this deep desire to um, to get a hold of cacao and so I made, made my uh, research looked at different kinds of of course 2021 there are already sources plenty of sources to go to and I did some comparison and I came across Florencia a video I think that video is sparked a lot of people she went to Caro is I think her name I'm not sure I'm sorry, but I'm so bad with names. Anyways, um, it's just an introduction video. Um, Florencia came to her home and they prepared the cacao. I was able to see and she was singing while doing that. Like the whole process was a, a ritual and it was so amazing. And then the blessing and I was blown away a sec. It just comes out of that woman, that blessing and that sweetness and the cacao and everything. I sensed it already. And that's where I knew it's like, yeah, cacao laboratory is the way to go. I'm going to order me a block. And the first cup I had, I had. I was just laughing. <laughs> I was sitting right here. I didn't know what to do. I actually didn't foam it up as nice. I was like, I think I, I took a spoon and stirred it because I didn't know how exactly. I was so excited. I was in a rush and it was not nicely melted. So there were like, um, yeah, there were just lumps and um, somehow I ended up with uh black fingers because of I think I touched something with with soot and so my face was full because I was like doing this drinking cacao and I was just laughing so hard that day that morning there I was laughing and laughing and, and that feeling and she just took a hold of me right away right away and from that point on Coffee was not a thing for me anymore. I know for some, they take that transitioning time to transition to cacao, but for me, it was an instant hit. That morning when I had the cup of cacao, I was full. I was in a rush. I had my laugh, my moment of, wow, don't take it that serious. and. The belly was full, so I didn't feel like, I don't want coffee. And to my surprise, I had no headache. Like a slight hint, but not like that throbbing headache that you get when you're really hooked on caffeine. It's like, huh, 
healthy. And so I went deeper and deeper and deeper and did the, the Cal Laboratory um, immersive course that same year. I think they start. yeah, it started in um, October and I did that to really um, get a deeper sense of the plant and the rituals and that gratitude from where it comes from and uh, yeah so mm. deeper deeper sense so since then I've grown I have my sit down every morning and do my ritual it's a big part of my and when I think back of be alone uh, that alone feel in that igloo mm. and where I'm now all the people I know now people that have the same path in their own way I don't feel alone anymore I don't feel alone anymore with with all the beings and nature, the air, the water, and the fire. We are not alone. We are not alone. And I feel that. So many blessings, new friends, so many aha moments, and deep healing, deep healing. Um, yeah, healing never ends, but I had some great breakthrough, especially last year. So two years ago was an awakening. I went into tarot reading. I wanted to, to know it all. I had these um, dreams that happened and the next day I had notions alignment started happening it's like wow what language is this i want to speak it <laughs> i want to speak that language anyways so last year i had to have that preparation because last year were a lot of haha -ha moments that led into um deep thinking and deep healing lots of tears and so that's where I'm now, beginning of 2023, January, I now go to a shaman healer. She helps me with soul retrieval. And I have that constant flow and I don't want it to stop. That healing journey is in itself very soft and gentle to actually grip onto the things that hurt and then start feeling it how it melts and then vaporizes and it becomes this beautiful nourishment for it all that's how it feels like And now I don't shy away anymore to grip onto the hurt, to really feel it and go into the deep mud of things. And I, I feel that strength and the curiosity. Yeah. So that is my journey of cacao. I knew nothing, even though I thought I knew what chocolate is. As a Swiss person here in America, you you guys don't know what chocolate is, you know? It's like, we have the best chocolate in the world. Oh my gosh. Did I have a wake-up call there? It's like, what? It comes from the Americas? Mesoamerica? What tree is this? I didn't even know, you know? Mm. Wow. 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 It's like, I will show you 
then she came around. And actually, the story of cacao actually came to me earlier. Um, a couple years er earlier, we went to Mexico. We every year we go to Mexico. And I had um, a Tamascal experience, the sweat lodge experience. And that mm, elder that was holding that space was smearing something on the hot rocks in the center. And he said it was sage. But for me, it smelled like chocolate. It's like it has to be chocolate. Nobody else. I mean, I was talking to my husband after. It's like, did you, didn't it feel like an like it was chocolate like chocolate it's like no not really it's like huh really had that mother feel that chocolate that holding and then that heat in that sweat lodge and i constantly had that feeling that i was like mother and i don't know it was just like a weird experience and then later on of course with her and then the sense of where um, the Temus call comes from, that mother womb and cacao is considered the mother. The, the pod is also this dark, wet space inside with the seeds. It's considered a very feminine plant. It's considered the mother feminine. And so that I had this experience in the Temus call. I still think he used chocolate to smear on the rocks, but that's just me. <laughs> I don't know what he did, but he was like, you know, because it is a plant medicine. It awakens this, the feelings and it opens up your heart. Yeah. So yeah, that is my experience and it's still going. I, I hold space now in my backyard. I have this bell tent. It doesn't matter how cold it is. I still hold uh, space and people come. I hold cacao circles and have introduced cacao to a bunch of people that never had an experience and never had cacao. And it's really awesome to see uh, the transformation. It's not a fast transformation. But it's that self-realization transformation. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's just a constant reminder that I am not alone. And don't take life too serious. No. Don't take life too serious. We are the childers, we are the children, we carry with us all that has ever been. We are the vision, circling once again. It is timeless, it is blossoming, all these lives we've lived and the songs we sing. We are reconnecting to the spirit of the earth. us all that has ever been. We 
are the vision Circling once again It is timeless It is blossoming All these lives we've lived And the songs we sing We are reconnected To the spirit of the earth Sing it with me We are reconnected To the spirit of the earth We are reconnected To the spirit of the earth We are reconnected Other light workers to come and join me for cacao. Reconnected to the spirit. 